Right, let me tell you why a slider with a pan and tilt head is far better than a gimbal for some shots. I wanted to recreate this shot from the Batman, the one where the Riddler gets caught and the camera rises up to reveal the question mark in the coffee cup. So I could have done it handheld like this, but as you can see, I'm moving all over the place, it's super wobbly, the frame is not right, and it would have taken me a million times to get right, and I would have had to add stabilization in post. And also, there's no way of making sure that you've got a consistent speed from start to end. Now, I could have used a gimbal, but I couldn't get low enough to the table to start the shot off properly, and then, so what I'd have to do is get low, hold the gimbal in a strange angle, and use the joystick with my thumb to get that tilt movement. All the weight of the camera is over the top of my wrists so that means I'm shaking quite a bit and also gimbals don't stop that side to side motion so my shot still isn't framed exactly how I want it. So the best way of getting this shot is by using this Z Pond slider with the Pond's PT pan and tilt head. So because the payload of this slider is so high and the motors are so strong, I can actually mount my whole camera rig on an angle like this from my tripod, frame up the shot, set my start and end points using the app, press play, and then the shot is done. I don't have to think about anything. And by doing it this way, you've got the perfect framing and super smooth shots every single time. So I'm using this Manfrotto tripod, I'll leave a link below, and it's great for this use because it's super sturdy, but also you can put it in vertical mode. So you just pop this bit out at the top, move that there, lock it in place and you've got even more angles. But because there's going to be a lot of weight on this tripod head, I'm actually going to use a sandbag to make sure it doesn't topple over. So I've done a full video of this slider before, but Zpon very kindly sent me the Pons PT pan and tilt head, which is just absolutely amazing. It's an essential tool to go with this slider, but what's really good about it is it's modular. So if you haven't quite got the funds to buy it all in one go, you can buy the heads separately. So you can just buy the pan head, and then when you've saved up a little bit more, you can get the extra head, which makes it pan and tilt. And then you just get this tilt arm there, screw them in place, and you're good to go. And you can even actually use Use the pan head on its own to get like a lazy Susan rotating product shot. So what I've done is I've made sure that my tripod and my slider is in the perfect position, got my starting position right, but then what you need to do is set that as your A point on your app and then go to your last point to make sure that the slider and the camera is still in the right position. And it's nice and easy to do using the app, super simple. You've got like a joystick thing going on for the horizontal movement of the slider and then you pan and tilt. And then all you need to do is set the A and B points, press play and you can have it on a loop or just one time through. I'm going to put it on a loop so that I can just keep it going. And then you can set the speed. I've tried this shot before and it works well about 95%. I'm going to put it on 98 because we want that shot to happen fairly quickly. We don't want to be hanging on for ages. To be honest, the hardest bit about it was making the coffee frothy. It didn't work. And then I couldn't get the question mark in at all. Now because my camera is upside down, I've actually got a flip mode on the Atomos Shinobi or the Ninja 5. So you just press that, then I don't have to flip my monitor actually upside down. So now as you can see, my monitor is still on the stand and the coffee mug is the right way up. People favour using handheld or gimbals because it's so easy to set up. You just grab the camera, get the movement you want and that's it. But it's never going to be perfect. Whereas when you're doing things like this, you really want that perfect smooth movement with the right framing and composition and you can get that with a slider. It takes a little bit longer to set up, but once you have, you know you're gonna get the perfect shot. So it's well worth having something like this in your camera, not, not your camera bag, but camera collection of tools. But the only complaint I do have about this slider system is the speed. It'd be nice if it went a little bit faster, because sometimes you might wanna capture something in slow motion with the slider, and you slow it down in post. It doesn't look like it's moving at all. Because it's quite slow, and don't get me wrong, it's no slower than any other motorized slider that I've used, 
but it's something that I'd like to see in the next generation of motorized sliders. Now obviously this is just one type of shot that you can get from this slider, but if you want some ideas I've got a video up here that you can check out and you can do all of that sort of stuff and more with this combination. Or if you want to check out a video about some lighting styles you can check this video out here. Thanks so much for watching, have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.